Microelectronics is a study and manufacture of extremely small electronic devices that consume very little power. And without it, all the devices we take for granted every day simply wouldn't exist. The target for all researchers in this space is to make smaller and smaller devices which can hold greater and greater amounts of information. In the 80s, people were developing 256 kilobit uh, memory chips and the question was, what are you going to do with all that memory? I mean, this is way too much. Well, no, you know, you have an iPod with 80 gigabit memory and it's full with music. Jean-Pierre Collange is a professor in University College Cork and working with the Tyndall National Institute on Advanced Microelectronic Devices. If you take a microprocessor, there's about one billion of those on, on a chip the size of a postage stamp. If you take an, uh, an SD memory card, uh, 32 gigabit, it's 32 billion transistors. So they're all extremely small and they've been made small and smaller year after year. This drive has pushed the research into the nano world, where devices are the size of a few atoms or molecules. But soon we will reach the limit of possible space, and to move beyond this is the holy grail of microelectronic study. The problem is the transistor, which is the fundamental building block of all modern electronic devices. All existing transistors have junctions to control the flow of electricity, but the difficulties of fabricating these junctions at the smallest level were thought to be insurmountable. And what we've done is uh, basically greatly simplifying the structure of the transistor such that it's much easier to make in small dimensions. In 2010, Jean-Pierre's team designed the world's first junctionless transistor, which has the potential to revolutionize the electronics industry. Well, things are doing very well. Uh, the, this junctionless transistor has received a lot of publicity. It's been uh, in Scientific American. It's been on many uh, web pages. We have uh, signed research agreement with a big semiconductor company, and there might be more coming. And based on that device, we, we're leading an FP7 research program with uh, some very big uh, European research institutes. If you, you go back 10 years, you never thought you'd have an iPod on which you can put you know, your, your entire collection of, of songs. And no, everybody has one. So 10 years from now, nobody knows what will happen.